Hello, good evening everybody. How's it going? It's Mayan Gamer here and we're back on our New Year's episode of Red Dead Redemption. By the way, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope uh, you had a great uh, 2019 and you know, I'm excited for the new games that are coming out next year or this year rather in 2020. So we'll, we'll be having a uh, the first step would be well it's not brand new but you know it's a, a new release on pc the monster hunter iceborne i'll be i'll be making uh videos of that so stay tuned for that two weeks from now or maybe a week from now yeah so yeah so now we're uh, doing a uh, red dead redemption 2 we're continuing from the last time we stopped um i did play you know a little bit for us just to make a little bit of progression uh, and so yeah i think this if i'm not mistaken this is uh episode 14 let me just check real quick yeah it is episode 14 so yeah episode 14 so yeah without any further ado let's get into this let's start also, by the way, don't forget to like and share our Facebook page. And if you happen to like our videos, we also have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that. That will I would truly appreciate if you do so. Thank you very much. So let's go. Let's do this uh, quest from Hosea. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend, Dutch oh, Vandalin is finally showing his true colors. Just Time Social for the climate. As well. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous that snake has invited eh? us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> exactly what I'm going to say if that was me. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I. If I oh, they got their ball. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Everybody gives him a tap in the shoulder and says, Well, be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. I'm having uh, some glitch on his hair because he be. doesn't usually Mr. Brante is a very good friend have with the long man. hair. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's so bad. 
As long as the man behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. Can I hate that? We'll meet you out no. back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. It's, it's, it's kind of this exists for we'll a game that's the balcony, then you're done. already, you know, that was released from way, way back now. A couple of what, months now? After all the patches, I still have this kind of glitches. <laughs> oh, I should have won. Oh, my God, I was gonna change this outfit. I was, gonna, I was thinking I should have worn my top hat. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, the self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. <laughs> None taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been it wonderful like a... conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and Someone I won't who could waste any joker. more of your time. Yes, 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 go enjoy yourselves and maker. mingle with this vulgar scum. I don't know, what It'll you guys make think? you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Mm, what's up there? You like the type. Arthur Morgan looks like a gentleman. None of them looks like an outlaw with how they dress up, except for Gentlemen, that guy Bill is his Bill's name. He still looks like a crook, regardless. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. He, he, he even has, you know, a short pants. Find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. Some place to rob. What the hell? Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Champagne, sir? Oh, sure. What's a party without the champagne? It's like he borrowed that pants from someone even shorter than him. Where's the mayor? Dude, the one with the tap. That's the only one. Oh. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. I was gonna say it's the only other guy's tap hat, but... It's relaxable here, it was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to San Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. We'll see you in the cool off. We're taking him away. We're taking him away. So Morgan kind of like act on, like a bodyguard for the mayor, eh? Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Count to a thousand. You can rejoin the party. Oh, hello. Bonjour. Hang on, sir. Shake me. Call me. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. It's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know every Miller? My lord. Rider? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that fantastic. Yeah, certainly is a coincidence for the new year. Mr. Conwell was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Conwell is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Can you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. In some angles. This Archie Morgan kind of resembles uh, Liam Neeson. Yes, we do. It's just resemblance, not really like look alike, but in some angles. Are we gonna kill this guy? Stay back no to serve. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Hey! What such convenience opening the door. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Marie! Marie! 
Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him. They will not have standard slip in this house. Oh, good thing I didn't went there. I was planning. Have you lost your mind? Go closer. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Get out of my sight. All oh, these fuckers hurting the maid, eh? Assassin's Creed. Could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Oh no, I'm not gonna do the poker game. Hopefully, it's not part of the story campaign. Usually, the poker games are just like side quests. Here comes money. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Because you're not There's them papers I took. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. It's quite a unique mission. You know, this, this was a like about this game. It's always... <laughs> Interesting the missions time, are always I different. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the You're lines of armed robbery. The same over Jose and over. is handling reconnaissance on his bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. 
Okay. Good morning, Arthur. Is it just me or the game has the kind of like a grainy texture to it? I don't know how to remove that. Exactly. We're almost halfway, 40, almost 40%. Hang on, let me just see graphics real quick. a lot of I wonder if crass uh, geometry three golly golly B sync on it's it's on eh? ultra quality is ultra I don't know why I don't know Maybe because of the direct X, I don't know. Who cares? It only happens in certain angles, maybe. That's a lot of quests. Where are they? Where are the quests? Oh, that is far, yo. What is this? Trelawney. And a, stra a main quest from a stranger? Are you kidding me? What's this? It's a side quest. We're not gonna do side quests. Oh, what's this? Money. No dollar sign. Mm, it's quite near, I'd say. It's in the border, though. Which is closer? The money is closer, eh? No, but still. Forgive me, dear. Still like a side quest to me. Actually, the same Denise. Closer because we're going to travel there. Hey, Evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. Drop by there. Let's. Oh, how can you sleep in an open window like this? God damn it. Same to me, of course. What's up, RJ? How's it going? Thanks for tuning, man. And Happy New Year's. Good day. So how is coming uh, in a week and a half I think or so are you game with that? Anything you said you're gonna win. You said you told me to remind you eh? about the muscle hunter thing.
Oh, what the hell? All my luggage dropped from the horse. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Well, we're going to go shopping for uh, clothes. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault mm -hmm. his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat. Oh, wait, what? Catalog. The heavy brow. From all the just one, just, just might that? I suggest the fine three piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd oh, say. Oh, it's free, courtesy of the quest, I guess. No other options. Well, A very good I mean, it's free. Let's get it. Wish I can. I mean, I have money, I can buy some, but you know, it won't let me choose what I want. <laughs> oh, and there you go. I look like I'm some. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Barber, I'm not cutting my hair. Don't even think about it. The whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win, and you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. Flamboyant. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and You drunk. don't come across All that word while, every day, do you? Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. This police actually. Oh, what the hell? You're on a suit and you're stepping on some. some things. Some things. My good man! Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Oh crap. I'm gonna have to cut my hair. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And unlikely fellow. A lick of manners or Shut up. Deportment. Shut up, Trelawney. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at no. all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Oh, damn. How can I... Oh, pomade, of course. Oh, what the hell? That didn't help at all. Make him look like a prince, sir. A prince? Damn you, I'm gonna cut my hair on shorter. Damn you, Trelawney. Style, what the hell is that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. These are like Backstreet Boys days. <laughs> Let's see this, middle part of fade. Like. Oh, this uh, sweat bag. Yeah, looks for his age. Actually, this looks for his age. Actually, this the the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> fade. What the fade means? I guess the fade. I'll do that. Okay. And those uh, facial hair. Let's. Must uh, full style. 
Uh, well... Extra clean. <laughs> extra clean, because clean is not clean enough, you need to be extra clean. Hmm. Flying fork? What, what is that? Could have tried this. So I mean you can only choose clean and extra clean, you're kidding me. Pencil. No, heck no. Chain style. And oh, no, where's the... I'm... What? I'm pretty sure there was the... The presidential. Looks like... Abraham Lincoln, not yet. Good enough. I don't like. No, I don't like full trim. I've grown this beautiful long time. Why would I trim it so short? I think that's good enough. That's good enough. Almost there, like a. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. I just need a top hat and I'm gonna look like the Hope you have a the successful late president. Evening, look at that. Abraham Lincoln. Get his work address. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. Toad, the prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? A coach? We can't bring it up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? You alright, by the way, driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep miles. some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cars I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. Oh, We're this all the Pope authors of our good fortune. We'll make sure you get thing. the right cards. What could oh. possibly go wrong? Indeed. I'm not good at poker. Oh, come on. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Oh shit, Your chips. chips. Will be waiting. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, oh, there man. she is. Come on. Okay. Oh, man, I'm Arthur, horrible at leave this. Leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, come on. Let's head aboard. Looks like a lawyer. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Damn. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change he of clothes. He left his gun in the okay. in you the carriage. Sure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can 
I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. <laughs> really? Well then. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm Callahan. late. Callahan. <laughs> unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Bly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, Callahan gentlemen, let's play. <laughs> Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to play, Nine sir. Jack. What the hell? How so, you... how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other uh... wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does Strauss say? Fold. Now, nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Call. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. We can go higher than that. Yes, I'll call. Call, call, call. Is anyone gonna live a little here? Call, I guess. Yes, call. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be getting. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, you will. You know, I thought about Such getting a three, but... <sighs> Strauss? Just look better in a suit. Keep I would betting. stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound Keep just betting like my there, wife. Man. 50, eh? All right. So how do you? There you yeah, go. I'm gonna race. I'll call. Call, eh? Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Pair of queens, uh, how, what can go wrong, you know? Your action, Mr. Callahan. Go. Go. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Look at that. Wings 400 bucks. Shit. Oh, yeah. Shit, you Shit. are indeed. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Hillbilly well, ass down. I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I just now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's see. Oh, how... 
How could this lose? Maybe I don't know. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. What does that mean? Mr. Callahan? Go all in? Well, right. nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! Oh, no yes, offense. I am. <laughs> well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. This guy's racist. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, I'm but a bad you can't have about this. Indeed. Well, but here I mean, we are. He's Arthur Morgan. What could possibly go wrong, eh? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Let me not look at that. Oh, Don't it's Javier. Take his gun, Arthur. It's Javier. Take a look at that. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Well, you asked for it. Oh shit! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't I could have shot his you in here is hand, pretty good. but well, how much is there? Must be a few thousand. He plus was gonna watch. kill me anyway. Now let's get out of here. Come on, let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Gun double sashay. Was that a gun shot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Hey, how's it going, Francis? Give anyone a job these days. Happy New Year's, man. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need Thanks to. Thanks for tuning in. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a noble cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Ah, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Okay. Come on, 
Oh, I like this gun, man. It loads so fast, yo. Good jump. What am I doing? Why am I bleeding to you? <laughs> well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. He just handed it over for appraisal. This is a stranger on a main mission. Well, let's. How about we do this? Since we're just right beside it, anyway. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Oh, yeah. it's uh, his. Uh, okay. His ex. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there! I'm coming straight down! And a bunch of uh <laughs> Ibs dropper. Oh <laughs> what the hell? Arthur Hello Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Think about it. The first oh, time the, the ball mission coincidence Daddy. with the uh Your father? I'm a the, bigger uh, fool than Universe I even celebration, saw. and then now we had a haircut, and you I'm know, begging you, Arthur. We had a makeover, and then this. I know Daddy was not this instance. kind to you, but but surely this you cannot hate eh? a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. What a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. That's all I can say. What a bitch. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. 
think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far Looked away like an now. action star now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? God damn it. Come along, then. Why not, then? Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Shut up. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, You'd be dead already. <laughs> but if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. <laughs> I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, I wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind <laughs> to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. You know, I see one really... The worst this case way. scenario is he's going to end the... Of having to shoot Drop this guy, and that's a really. Mary, what the hell are you doing? And what's he doing here? Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, am I not supposed to get too, too close? Oh, yeah, Arthur, probably. he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're not supposed to be this way. That close. He went around the corner. You 
can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. You just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Of him. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Debbie. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he this doing? Let's go find out. This guy likes going on corners. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. You got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, killed. Come you don't understand. Nice. Mother left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Well, thanks for you reminding me. Oh, you like hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! Here I got roach right here. Still roach. Hey! Stop that coach! Damn, the lighting. Get back here! Too bright. You hear me? Stop that damn coach! God damn it! Is this a roach? Why is it? This horse is so slow. Oh. Shit, it's not roach. God damn it. What the? You stop right now! This horse can't chase.
It's a little bit warm. Shit. Can't keep up. Come on, horse. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more, yo. Uh... No, not for the horse. Shit. Oh, man. It's actually a really terrible, terrible chasing job. This horse is so bad. Here you go, you can run again. What if I just... I just fail this mission and I start with Roach. Where are you, man? Not again. No, I can't. I can't even beat this guy. Damn horse. Damn horse. Yeah, that's the word for it. Damn horse. He's getting away. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's better. I think failing it is better, so we can restart it. Hopefully the checkpoint is not riding this horse. God damn it! Oh my god, are you kidding me? This horse again? What the heck is Roach? Good job, good job, boy. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my goodness! What happened there, Roach? What the hell did you do? Well, never mind. Doesn't matter because we're gonna catch up in no time. Damn, coach. Get back here. Roach is the boy. I mean the horse. <laughs> you stop right there. Should I shoot the horse so I can keep up? Gillis is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, 
I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! $25, that's my final offer. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Well, oh, you're welcome to try. I tell him that to Arthur Morgan. He just got a clean shave of his head. Well, not shave, but clean cut. Clean cut. Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, Head I think to the I'd like theater, the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Theater? Me? Um, why not? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> exactly what I said. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, oh, it's the. Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not brainless a very nice life. woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. And they're the only ones on the road. Applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, horse I never manure. dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare! For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, sleeps, yep, yeah. and magic. I encourage any of you to <laughs> yeah, dabble yeah. in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin right. Kaninsky. Make a move. Damn, Arthur is the man. Make a move. <laughs> Thank you for joining. 
joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. The tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. Do more. You are about to do both, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. <laughs> Even darker, eh? God damn, Morgan. Wonderful. Gets you 
in the theater and watch something. Back. Still nothing. Oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is no said way. that there is a place in France <laughs> no where way. the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur yeah, in Gay this. Paris! I guess that's gonna make it even darker, maybe, no?
What now? Still not in Arthur? Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am this is the best. best. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> It does end anyways. There you go. Clapping our turn. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary, if I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. Then some fool got trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. That is a long ass mission. So I guess that's long enough, eh? Because I have very limited time. I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow. So I'm gonna be dropping people to work tomorrow. Very early in the morning. So, well. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, just as usual, I'm gonna post uh, gonna post it up on our Facebook page, I mean channel. So like as always, uh, like and share Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that really, really helped me a lot in this journey to become a content creator. So thank you very much for you guys who tune in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.